up you guys it is the start of another vlog i'm in the middle of cooking dinner um but we just got a delivery bryce doesn't know this yet but no that's coming tomorrow our cash is coming tomorrow well two pieces of our cash is coming tomorrow but today um we have the basketball um i don't know what it's called like basketball hoop game thing that's gonna oh. go in his game room oh i knew <laughs> I told you we ordered it, but did you know it was being delivered today? No, you didn't know that far. But let me show you guys. Of course, it's not set up yet. No, it's not a house tour. No, I'm not giving a house tour. Here is the delivery. And I'm going to unbox it right now, but I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I'll take it upstairs and unbox it because... Is going upstairs in his game room. All right, so we're in the game room. We have Whoa. done barely any organizing in this room. This is the first item that we ordered that's arrived. So, you know, it's coming along. <laughs> this is a pullout couch, so that's why we wanted to keep it. If if his game stuff doesn't fit in here with the couch, then we'll probably move the couch somewhere else. But we thought it would be a good idea to have this up here because it can be seating for when he has friends over and stuff and um but it can also be another guest area can you stop doing that and but it could also be another guest area for guests to sleep if we have more guests than gonna go in the other guest room this is a full bed when it pulls out and it's actually pretty comfortable we've had it for a couple years all right so here's some of the pieces you have the backboard i think this is it's a two-player game like one of those um basketball arcade games um there the balls we got to inflate Woo! yeah oh no oh shoot 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 y'all see my helper what he's doing so it comes with four balls we have to inflate two rims okay here's the tool set so it comes with the tool set here's the nets Okay, all the materials are nice and quality. Here's the instructions. Right here. Everything looks nice and quality. I'm going to read the instructions just to make sure we have all the tools. I don't know if we're going to assemble this right this second or not. So I need to go finish dinner and stuff. Oh, what's this? More tools. Here's what I bought today. Mommy, this must be can more you tools. box yes, like this thing? You should be able to rip that. It's plastic. Oh yeah, we're going to this is Oh, this is like the how you work the game. Oh, this is like the sensors for if you make the shots. And the scoreboard. Okay. And so yeah, that looks the like coat. It looks like it goes right in that section. Um, I forgot the price for this. I think it was like 185 or something like that. I can't remember, but I'll link it down below um, in case you all are interested in this. And um, it's going to go in this. We've already done the measurements and stuff. So it's going to be almost at the top. We're painting it here eventually. So it's going to go that way. And then it should cut like right at the edge of the window you already did all the measurements you guys i just got another delivery this time it's not furniture this is a complete surprise Ooh, mama got a crush. I mean, somebody has a crush on my mama somebody has a crush on me yeah, yeah daddy yeah. <laughs> this well, is so sweet why are you me? yes your dad oh, what? yeah he has a crush on me Excuse me, sir. Can I can I live in my moment, please? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Oh, it's so beautiful too. Oh, that's pretty. I just texted him. <laughs> He's at a, um a baseball game with his friends, but I just sent a text. I'm like, oh, this is so pretty. He did good, y'all. He did good. 
Mm, they smell amazing too. Good morning, you guys. I'm super duper tired and my head hurts, but I'm excited because some pieces of my couch arrived today. Yes, 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 yes. Two of the three, I'm making coffee, so I'm pouring water into the Keurig. Um, two of the three pieces of our sectional will be delivered today. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I can't wait to see it. Um, I have to go, I haven't looked today. Um, so I have to go and look and see when the third piece is gonna be here. But we're gonna also, <laughs> it's loud now. My Keurig old, but it still be it still be working. Okay, so y'all also show you guys the basketball game um, built today. We did not build it last night. It's 10:38. The delivery window is 11:15 to 1:15. So I'm gonna start kind of moving these chairs. We've been sitting in some armchairs from our previous house. We got patio cushions back there from the previous owner left those. They're like not in the best condition, so I definitely want to replace those soon. Um, and then this is a old ottoman from my old house. We literally just have that there until I buy another coffee table. Um, but y'all know how I am. I'm purposely not going to be buying no coffee table until I see what my couch is looking like. Um, I've already ordered a mirror to go on top of the fireplace from CB2. And so uh, waiting for that to... We ordered, we did an in-store pickup, so waiting for a notification so we can pick that up. Um, and for, if this is your first time tuning in, here's our credenza over here that we ordered. It got delivered last week. If you're new here, this is from CB2. You can look at last week's vlog if you want the link for that. Um, I say this all the time, ignore the cords. We're gonna properly install the TVs and hide the cords. The main thing we're waiting on is we're gonna switch around our TVs. So this TV is likely gonna go in our room. The TV from our room is likely gonna go in our son's room and we're planning to get a larger TV for right here. So that's why we're not hiding, you know, getting them properly installed right now. We're trying to wait until we figure all that out. The final thing I share with you guys this morning is I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do on this wall, these walls right here. So this is the wall that leads from the front door towards the family room area. Um, my first option is to do like a gallery wall with some gold frames and have some images, family images in there and kind of have maybe like, maybe six on this wall, you know, a few on that wall and kind of have it kind of lined up and everything. Or option two is to have two canvases on this wall, like canvas prints like this, and then two on this wall. Um, so these are canvas prints we already have from our engagement session and our wedding. Um, and then the other two I can find images from like family images to put up and order two more canvases for like our, you know, two of my favorite family pictures of us and kind of have that going on. So let me know what you guys think of either option one or two here, um, because I definitely want to do something with this wall, um, but I don't want it to be too much, but I want it to be like, you know, it's a you know, little walk away. I want to put some family photos up in some way. So I think this is a perfect spot for it. Let me know which option you guys think. Okay, you guys, Crate and Barrel just called me and said they are about to be here. So, um, Brian and I just cleared out the family room with like all the, you know, random stuff that was in here. So the only thing still in here is the credenza that's staying and that old Ottoman coffee table that's leaving once I get a coffee table replacement. Um, I'm nervous because, I'm excited, but I'm nervous, anxious or whatever because I've never seen the couch in the color that we ordered in the full size. We did go in person to test out the couch, see if we liked it. So I know I like the quality of the couch, the feel of the couch, all that. But the one that was in the store was a different color. 
And so, of course, you saw the color sample of the color that we ordered. But y'all know, like, once you start seeing those little bitty samples and then you actually see the full big product, it can look different. So, I think I like it, but I'm a little nervous. Um, so, it'll be here very, very soon. They said 10 minutes at this point. They're probably outside my door. So, let me <laughs> wrap this up. Here's the before. The couch is going to go over here. So it's kind of going to go like that. It was very important to me because I'm standing in the kitchen side. So I, I didn't want like the back of the couch to be right here closing things out. I wanted it to remain open. Um, so it's going to go one sectional side there, the back of the couch over here, other sectional here, another coffee table here. Let me get it. Armchair. They're here. They're here. Okay. They're here. Okay, so just two pieces are here of the three, so no surprise, third piece. Here's the first piece that is the love seat. Let me see if I can hurry up and go over here before they bring it on. Take a sneak peek at the fabric. There's the fabric. Okay. Okay. Okay, they're coming back. Let me back up. Let me back up. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you two thirds of my couch. Keep in mind, we're still waiting for one piece, so it might look a little odd. And the coffee table that's currently there will not be there. Y'all ready? All right, here it is. Look at her. So of course, we're gonna get the other side of the chase over there. Here's the front view of it. The color is Monet Champagne. So I'll give you a closer look of the fabric. And of course I have to get some decorative pillows and all that. Here's up close. Look at the fabric. So I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's like a champagne kind of color and it's performance fabric so you know any spills and stuff can easily be cleaned up yeah i don't know if the color's showing up on camera or not but yeah here here she is nice and thick shawty thick and then you know the cushion is um I forgot the depth of it, but you can see it's like a deep cushion. So definitely going to be comfortable. So yeah, so here's the, the look of it. Can't wait to get the last piece in. Um, I'll be on the search for some decorative pillows. Decorative pillows, I want to like tie in the couch and the credenza a little more. Um, you know, because of course they're not matchy matchy, but I still want them to, I want everything to be cohesive. So. I want to have like a wooden basket, probably on this side of the, I don't know, this maybe this side of the fireplace, I have my blankets in there. I have a mirror that's going here, that's kind of a brass rim mirror that matches the legs here. And I know it matches because it's from the same company. Okay. Babe has decided to tackle this basket, but what is this thing called? I keep forgetting. It's just a... Basketball goal. <laughs> yeah, I keep saying that. I'm like, it's not really like a. Y'all see what kind of thing it is. It's like a game. Yes. It's not like a like a goal. See, he's getting started over here. I think he's just organizing right now. Not put some stuff already. His pieces. Oh. Right here. 
think this is the sides of it. Yeah. And then that's going to hang. I'm going to see how I can help. And of course, we'll show you guys the reveal. making progress so I just took out these and put together these two pieces right here so yeah so I'm asking him to tell me the pieces he needs next I mean I'm prepping those because what I will say about this they package it well they got all all the tape uh plastic everything wrapped around each individual item I also took out these right here even though he didn't say he needed them yet I think I'm gonna take the rest of the stuff out the plastic because of course we'll need it. So yeah, making progress. I'm about to have that little pickle head little boy come in here and help. Bryce! Yeah. Come help. Hey, hey. <laughs> Is it gonna take forever to pump up all these? It might be enough, wait, stop. See if it's too, wait, stop. Wait, a little bit more. Okay, Bryce has achieved pumping up one ball. He's on ball number two. Let me see, Bryce, if you head up. <laughs> you find number two. And I know where to put the dog up here. So do I put it right here? Well, you gotta look at the image. Right here? Good job. I'm going to go make the overthrow go in the same time. Mm-hmm. See how it gets easier when you have practice with it. You might have to step in the middle. There you go. Getting closer, almost there. I had to bust out my ladder over there because I, you know, a little short. But we almost, you know, we still gotta finish putting on this net piece. We still have to hook up the um, the control panel thing. Yeah, Brian talking about this about to go down in the man cave. Trying to take my baby stuff out his game room. Alright, here goes the battle. The boys battle. <laughs> I just battled Bryce and I won two times. <laughs> oh, this time, this score kind of close. This score kind of close. <laughs> Bubba. Come on, Bryce. Come on, Bryce. Shut it. Shut it. Shut it. <laughs> I'm probably all shaky with the camera because I'm laughing. Come on, Bryce. Shoot. Oh, he's not time. It's not time yet. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Hey, y'all. I wanted to hop on real quick to show you some stuff that came from Amazon just now. Um, and to show you an item I picked up from Home Goods yesterday. So here's the item from Home Goods. It's like a decorative um, geometric object. This was $14.99 from Home Goods. Um, 
I really didn't see much that I picked up. It, it really wasn't much I picked up at yesterday at home because this literally was it. And then I picked up a dress from the TJ Maxx side, but I wanted to show you guys that. And then I plan on putting that on the um, credenza in the family room. And then I ordered some coffee table books from Amazon. Um, I really wanted coffee table books that really inspire me and things that I care about and am inspired by. Um, I know a lot of people get like the Chanel and Tom Ford books and Louis Vuitton books, stuff like that, but that's not really <laughs> inspirational to me. Like, it's, it's not really my thing. Um, not that, you know, I won't have, you know, perfumes and, you know, a bag or something like that, but it's not something that I want just labels like sitting around my home in terms of decor but no shade to people that do i just wanted things that inspired me so um these two i plan on coupling together um like one on top of the other and then having that geometric object that i just showed you um so i'll kind of show you guys how i plan on styling it but this one is soul of a nation art in the age of black power this is what the side looks like and this one does not come with like a removable cover. So, which is fine because I wanted these colors anyways. It has like my whites, um, you know, the brown goes with like the creams and stuff I want. And I wanted hints of black. This one, um, African American images from the 1890s to present, posing beauty. So this is the front of it. Well, there's a glare. That's a little better. Here's the front of it, beautiful. Here's the back of it. And I love the cover and I also love the cover off too. So there's two great options that will fit the core. So if you want just kind of like the black, clean um, decor piece as a decorative book or if you want this, I think they're both beautiful. So I'm gonna test both options out to see which one I prefer. So here's the last book I purchased, um, Beautifully Organized, A Guide to Function and Style in Your Home by Nikki Boyd. This is like one of my favorite home channel YouTubers, um, At Home with Nikki. She also has a channel, I think, that's called, it's called At Work with Nikki. And she, I mean, her organization is impeccable, y'all. So she released a book. So that's what the top looks like. This is what the side looks like. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put this yet. Um, it's gonna go somewhere in my home, but I'm not sure exactly where yet, but I just wanted to support her. Um, and I'll link her channel below. Her, her, her videos always inspire me to like <laughs> go organize a part of my home. Here's option one. Y'all, I know I say this all the time, ignore these cords. I'm so ready. I can't wait till we get the TV that's actually gonna go here so we can mount it properly, but we're not focused on that. So here's option one, right there. And here's the second option. Okay, here's option two. And quite frankly, I'm in love with option two. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. All I did was remove the cover off of the second book. I think it just gives this perfect amount of contrast that I'm looking for with the black, white, gold. Which option do y'all like? But yeah, that's the look right there. Let me back up some, ignore the cords. So yeah, that's just to give a decorative moment over there. Um, of course, I'm not finished um, kind of styling the credenza, but I'm just, gathering stuff little by little. There's gonna be a floor plant that I'm gonna put over here to have some greenery on this side of the wall. Um, I might do some more greenery on here somewhere. Might do, um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. You have to just sit and just let it inspire me, but you guys will come along to see the final styling of the credenza. But right now, here's my first styling moment over here and I love it. Let me know what y'all think. All right, I'm back y'all. I just made the most subtle change and this is it. So I rotated this um, geometric object around and I love that like at first it was kind of like this, which is still good. 
Then I put it like that and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, but I mean, it really can go anyway. It's just all preference at this point. <laughs> Y'all like it like that. But yeah, just basically when it comes to stuff like this, styling and decor, do you. Do what makes you feel good and what makes you look at something in your home and just smile or feel inspired. Everyone's preferences and styles are different, so it's really no right or wrong. But that's cute though. Mm-hmm.